Okay, what I'd like to show you this morning is the an updated status of the major components of the autopilot system. First of all, this is the main autopilot unit. It has an LCD and a keypad. It also has this RF Wi-Fi remote antenna and inside. We'll take a look. Over on this side is the Arduino Mega uh, and, the, and this chip that uh, brings in the GPS system. Over here is the main Arduino Mega with all the interconnecting wiring. This, is, this does the major bit of work. Right here is the RF module that uh, transmits data to the remote systems. And then on the, on the front of here we have several switches for power and uh, rem remote operation and run permissive. So then we have two remote units. Uh, this one is the old serial remote. It's, it's wired in and so it can use the switches and the knob but it actually is sending data. It has a, a RF module inside here also for the data sending. I, over here is a totally remote system um, and it has a it, it uses the RF for both the uh, battery op for both operation receiving data and sending data and internally I have a battery in here and this battery is an anchor cell phone recharging battery um, this is about a 6,000 milliwatt or milliamp hour battery it'll run this for a day or two okay now over here at the <clears throat> back at the main unit um, let's take a look at the screen and then we'll look at s s the operating modes First of all, here on the screen we have the operating mode. Currently it is an off. As we press 1, we get compass. 2, we get GPS. 3, we get tack, etc. Go back to off here. The other display is the course over ground, COG. That's reported from the, from the GPS unit. Uh, it's hokey right now because we're not physically moving. The heading, that's strange. We're pointing in the same direction as the COG. So this is the compass. You can see that responding. Here is the the waypoint that the GPS is programmed to. That's my driveway. Over here is the bearing to the waypoint, and this is the heading to steer, and this and this is the course to steer. Now we'll cover that in just a second. Okay. So let's look at a, the first mode, the compass mode. So when I press key one, off will go to compass mode, and the heading to steer will capture this heading 310 degrees and then it'll, it would maintain that course. So we'll do that and so we get 309.7 um, and as, so I can so I can modify this um, with the with the keypad for instance if I want to increase this to the right by 10 degrees I can press it once, twice, three times back one two three uh, we can increment it by one degree with with the four and with the seven and nine keys one two one two all right so that's the compass mode you can go into compass you can set it uh, next is the tack mode it's and the tack mode is just like compass mode except that the four and six keys will change this by 100 degrees so that will let you um, change your course by 100 degrees the, the boat will tack talking a sailboat now and give the helmsman he can if you're single-handed steering you can tack your sails you'll steady up on this new course and then after you get on course and your sail sails full you can bring that back a little bit to, to bring it up a little closer to the wind you can set that hundred degrees whatever you want to in the uh, program so let's look at the GPS mode now. In GPS mode, we capture um, this bearing. Actually, it's the course over ground and the course to steer. This course to steer will get us back on course and get us to this waypoint in the GPS mode. In the, um, I've added recently a GPS 2 mode. And if I press and hold key 2, this goes to GPS 2. In GPS 2, um, the course to steer is ca captures the course over ground and will maintain that. And if I, I can increment this just like I can 
the heading to steer when I'm in the compass mode. So I can increase that 10 degrees, 20 degrees, down 10, down 20, plus 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3. So in essence, this lets you steer a GPS course without actually having to enter oh, a waypoint. So if you want to the, cover the briefly cover the difference between the heading to steer and the course to steer, the, let's say you, the boat were going at six knots with a three knot cross current, you would have to crab into that current at 30 degrees in order to maintain the course you wanted to, to maintain. So the, the heading is the direction the boat is pointed as reported by the, the compass, which has arrows in it. Um, and the course to steer is the course that, the, that you want the boat to go over. The, the most accurate thing you have is the GPS course over ground. That's the, that is what the boat is actually traveling. Now, unfortunately, that is what it has traveled, not what it will travel. So that's why the heading is, more, is very important for steering the boat. So the boat actually steers the heading to steer, but it captures that from the course over ground and the course to steer. All right. Now, also on the screen, this is the cross-track error. Currently, that is 27 feet. That's just based on how I have the GPS laid out here at this location. But this is the main parameter that the course to steer is modified by so that you will stay on the original course if you're in the GPS mode. So let's take this back to off. Let's go over and look at the, well, that's one more mode here. That is mode five. That is knob steering. Um, unfortunately, in this, we, it, it shows, this is the command. It also displays the available waypoint, so it's jumping back and forth. But if I increase this over here all the way, you see I get a right, a plus 41 degrees command. If I go all the way to the left, I'll get a minus 40 degrees command. So that would move the rudder to that position. Now here I do not have the rudder feedback unit connected. I don't have one at the house. So this just says zero. But if we were on the boat, this would report what the rudder is. And so basically in the knob modes of steering. You can steer the boat using this. Um, we'll go back to off. Uh, now we'll take a look at the, like I'm calling this the serial, serial remote, though it's actually an RF remote with wiring. So let's look at uh, mode five on that, which is knob steering. And as I turn the knob here, I don't have a knob printout on here, but as I turn the knob here, Oops, I have to do one other thing. To use knob steering on this, this is feeding into the autopilot. And over here in the back, I've got a switch that uh, lets you switch from local to remote. And that has to be in the correct position to use the knob steering. So as I increase to the right, I'm getting 40 degrees plus. Off to the left, 40 degrees minus. So with this remote, we can do knob steering. All right. Now let's go over and look at the, the third autopilot or uh, remote, second remote unit. So this one's totally remote. Uh, it has that battery. I showed you the battery in the back. It operates basically the same way. It does not have the knob steering. It has a on-off switch uh, that you can turn it on and off with. Um, it has that battery built in, and the bat the, the this unit's plugged in to, and will let you recharge. Use it. You can use a, a USB extension cable to plug into there and it's plugged into the battery so then you could recharge your battery but it has the same operating modes we go to one and we can increment this um, one two three okay we can come back one two three <clears throat> well that's what i wanted to cover this morning and i hope that's helpful to you thank you for watching